Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be swatching some new gel polishes that I just got in from Madam Glam. So let's hop right on into the polishes that they recently sent me. So these are the new polishes that they just sent me over. They did let me pick out these colors so I just picked some colors on their website that I've been wanting to try for a while. So let's take a closer look at them. The first color we have here is Healing Glam. Ooh, and this is a really pretty light kind of lavender lilac purple yeah I really like this a lot I'm really into like light purples and lavender kind of colors the next color we have here is Playa okay I like that name Ooh, nice this is a really beautiful um, jelly nude color kind of like a like a jelly peach almost really pretty Next we have Perfect Orange. I've been trying to get my hands on this color for a really long time. Okay. Ooh, look how vibrant that orange is. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to get this washed out. And to go with that, I definitely got another yellow from Madam Glam. Y'all know yellow is my favorite color. Let's see, this color is Mimosa. Ooh, how pretty. Look at that. It's a really nice vibrant yellow. I wonder how this compares to Perfect Yellow. Let's see, hold one second. Okay, so this is Perfect Yellow that I have from Adam Glam. I'm just kind of curious to see how these two compare. Okay, you can already see that this one's a little bit of a deeper yellow. The Mimosa is. Okay, so yeah, this is how they look next to each other. Yeah, the Perfect Yellow is definitely more a lighter, vibrant yellow, and the Mimosa is kind of like more of an orangey yellow. I guess you could say this is more of like a golden yellow color. Last but not least, we have Smelly Cat. This is from their Friends collection. Um, I already have Pivot from their collection, um, so happy to have Smelly Cat. If you all know Friends, you know Phoebe with Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat is not your fault. Now, I can't sing y'all, but that's what I think of every time I see this name. But let's take a quick look at this color here. Ooh. Yeah, this is a really pretty kind of off-white ivory color. Really, really nice. Has very, very slight pink undertones to it. Um, so yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get these colors swatched out, okay? Smelly hat, smelly hat, it's not your fault. Smelly, 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 smelly hat. It's not your fault. Healing Glam. Ooh, nice coverage. Look at that. Very, very pretty. One coat coverage. Nice and creamy. Lovely consistency. Y'all know I'm a really, really big fan of Madame Glam polishes. They just apply so lovely. Okay, I'm going to cure. Playa. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I like this base right here. I feel like this color will be really good for um when you want to do ombre nails or do like a french tip nail this is a really nice base for that you do like two three coats of that it's gonna be real pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and cure perfect orange Ooh, look at that y'all how vibrant and fun is this color i love it i think i have this orange in a gel paint from uh, madam glam but i'm definitely happy to have it in a gel polish because way easier and quicker application this orange is gorgeous Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and cure mimosa. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a really pretty yellow. You'll definitely need two coats if you want it to be really opaque, but that's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and cure smelly cat. Which is this really beautiful off-white kind of ivory color. I um, did a friend's experience um, last year. I think I have a whole video showing you guys a couple pictures and things um, from when I got Pivot. <laughs> so I'll leave that video linked down below. But yeah, this is a really beautiful kind of off-white ivory color. This is with all the colors are looking like swashed out with two coats of gel polish and a top coat. So let's get up close to how they look. So this here is Smelly Cat. Again, it's a really beautiful creamy off-white color. Leans a little bit ivory. Mimosa, which is a really beautiful golden yellow. Perfect orange, which is really just the perfect, nice, bright, vibrant orange. Playa, which is this really beautiful base color. It's a base nude that's perfect for French tip nails, ombre, glitter ombres. 
Um, just a really good base coat for a nice blank canvas for a lot of different nail art designs. And this here is Healing Glam, which is a really beautiful um, light lavender lilac purple. So I am going to go ahead and try to do a couple of nail art designs. So with this player color, I want to show you guys how to do like a glitter ombre. Yeah, y'all, let's get into some nail art. I have my full cover nail tips already ready to go. On these two nails here, I'm going to go ahead and apply this uh, base coat player. And I'm going to do two coats of it here. And again, this is a really good base for, like I said, glitter ombres and French tip nails. But for this design in particular, I'm going to do a glitter ombre. I'm going to do two different kinds, actually. I'm going to do one that's kind of Christmassy with a green French, uh, with a fr green glitter ombre, and then another one with just like regular, nice, beautiful golden glitter. And both of these, you know, ombres will be really, really pretty for this time of the year, Christmas time. So uh, let's just get this done. I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of this, okay? This is what the nails are looking like after two coats of polish. What I love about glitter ombres is that they're really easy to do. So I'm gonna first go in with this color that I just got in a new Beatles collection, which is a really beautiful uh, glitter color. It's uh, C754 and it's a really beautiful glitter here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and first do the gold glitter ombre. What you wanna do is you'll take the nail here. So you'll take the nail and then you'll paint the glitter really just at the top part of the nail, like so. Okay. Just like this, you kinda wanna go halfway down the nail. Or maybe like three, th a third way down the nail, like so, all right? Then what you'll do is you'll take a liner brush, right? And you'll just slowly bring some of the glitters down the base of the nail. And this creates a really beautiful kind of ombre effect, all right? You just wanna have some, you know, you wanna take some chunky glitters and kinda get them down a little bit further. And just so that it starts to kind of fade out towards the tip of the nail, I mean towards the middle of the nail. And this really creates a really beautiful ombre effect. See, like one of these little chunky glitters, you see, I'll put it right here. Move this one up a little bit, that one down. You just kind of place them where you want them to be to give that nice ombre effect, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Then next I'm gonna do a green glitter just because it's Christmas time. So this one is forest mural. And I'm gonna do the same method or technique. You know, you'll want to take the glitter polish and put it towards the tip of the nail, like so. Okay. And then what you want to do is take your nail art brush and just bring that gel down the base of the nail kind of ombreing it out, giving it that little flare. You want to take some of the chunky glitters and kind of place them down a little bit further down the nail. And then I'm just kind of constantly patting it just to get it to get even more sheer as I go further and further down the nail. All right. That looks good to me, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Okay, so now that both of these glitters are cured, I'm gonna go ahead and all you need to do next is seal it in with a top coat and you're good to go. Very pretty. Alrighty, so this is how the green nail turned out. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks. I don't think that ombre turned out too great. So what I'm gonna do is go in with some stickers to kind of just conceal that a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with, that sticker's kind of big. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go in with this sticker here and then a smaller sticker right here just to kind of cover it up and disguise it a little bit. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take the sticker and put it on the nail again, just to kind of distract from what I had going on there. Something like so, yeah, like this. I'm gonna pat it down. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'll do like a little another small snowflake right here. Mm, I think that 
that might be too much going on on that now. So I'm gonna just take this one off and just leave it like this. And then I'll go ahead and seal that sticker in with another layer of top coat. Very pretty. Very pretty, so I'll go ahead and cure. So this is what the nails are looking like. So just wanna do a quick, simple tutorial to show you guys how to do a nice, really pretty glitter ombre. And so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I do wanna give another special shout out to Madam Glam for sending these products over for review. Um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam. I am gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. In case you guys wanna get your hands on some of their products, they do have a really big discount going on their website right now for the holiday season. So definitely hop on over to their website and check out um, all the good deals they have going on and yeah I hope you all enjoyed this really beautiful easy glitter ombre design here um, let me know if you guys end up trying it out and how it works for you I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye